I suppose the biggest question is what's it going to be like afterwards? And there's no real answer to that apart from the fact that Jesus has risen from the dead. That's my hope and that's my belief. So trying to unpack that for someone in a way they can grasp. Other people are desperate to come through their illness and almost feel cheated. And so the big question is, why? Why me? Why, when I just retired, is this happening? Why, when we've got a young family? And there is no answer in terms of an easy answer, um, but it's being there that I think can make a difference. Something is drawing to a close and there's the unknown. And so they need, uh, they need someone to try and voice either what they already believe, what they're searching for, or what they are trying to understand. Through my life of prayer, my trying to do my best, I hope to be a source of Christ's presence, to be able to find those words and be that person that offers Christ's compassion, support and hope in the midst of terrible sadness. There are some people who, when they're dying and they've had no connection with the church, or it's been a long time since they were connected with the church, they feel that they might not be worthy of God's support or the church's support at the end of their lives. And it's trying to remind them that whatever has been the case, um, now is the moment and it's an opportunity.